Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I have an interesting lesson for you today. Let's look at our examples, shall we? I don't like watching talk shows on TV. Neither do I. He went to work this morning. So did I. I didn't understand your comment. He did. They'll visit their cousin next week. We won't. John has been studying Italian since 2005. Me too. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to agree or disagree in a statement. So stay tuned. Great. So we're going to agree and disagree with a statement. Some people find it so hard to agree and disagree with a statement. They basically use me too for everything. Well, that's wrong. Let me tell you first that in order to watch this lesson, you should be able to understand all the tenses and all the modal verbs because we are going to use the auxiliaries of the tenses. So I suggest you review all those lessons. So agreeing with a statement. In a negative sentence, we use neither. It has two pronunciations, neither or neither. You can choose. So, for example, I don't like watching talk shows on TV. I said, right? The other person or yourself would say, neither or neither do I. Now, the formula for this answer would be neither, obviously, or neither, plus auxiliary, the auxiliary of the sentence, of the other statement, of the other person. So if I say I don't like, you understand that the auxiliary would be do, right? So neither, do, and then the pronoun or the subject. So if you're talking about yourself, neither do I, or neither uh, does she, for example, talking about uh, Mary. Okay, so it depends. Now, let's look at another example. He won't be late for the meeting. He won't be late for the meeting. So, neither or neither will she, another person. Neither or neither will she. So, neither plus auxiliary the auxiliary is will because he's talking about a future a sentence. So neither will and then the subject or the pronoun neither will she. So what happens if the sentence is positive and you want to agree? You use so. He went to work this morning. He went to work this morning. And I want to say me too, right? In this case, you can say me too. So did I. So did I. Or me too. So plus the auxiliary of the other person's statement. Did because it's went, right? Is the past of the verb to go. So did I. So did I. Now another example. They've lost their pen. So I would say so has he. So, plus auxiliary of the present perfect, because the statement was using the present perfect, so has he. So has he. Okay, let's take a look at the disagreeing part now. If the statement is negative, then you will use subject or the pronoun plus the auxiliary. Let's take a look at the example. I didn't understand your comment. I didn't understand your comment. The person, the other person would say, he, auxiliary, uh, subject, sorry, or pronoun, he did, he did. So I disagree with, with that statement in the negative. If, if it's a negative statement, I would say he, okay, the subject, did the same auxiliary of the statement, of the original statement. He did in the past, obviously. Now, another example. 
He doesn't work on Mondays. He's very lucky. He doesn't work on Mondays. I do. I, the subject, and then the auxiliary of the statement, the original statement. I do. Now, let's take a look at a positive sentence. To disagree with a positive statement, I would use the subject plus the auxiliary plus not. So the, the introductory example was they'll visit their cousin next week. They'll visit their cousin next week. We won't. So the subject or the pronoun we will not, won't, we won't. Okay, because the original was in the future and I used the same auxiliary of the future. We will not, we won't. Another example. She's from Italy. She's from Italy. I'm not. I'm not. I am not. You can say I am not, but we usually contract it and we say I'm not. I'm not. I am not, which is the verb to be and the verb to be, you know that it works by itself, right? So the auxiliary is the verb to be and you use it to disagree with the uh, a positive sentence in this case, right? Um, I'm not. You cannot say if you want to, for example, she isn't from Italy and you want to um, disagree with that, I would say I am, I am, no I'm. We cannot contract I am. We use I am and not I'm. But if you add not, you can contract it. I'm not, because you're stressing not right there. Okay, let's take a look at me too. So, in, if the, the statement uh, has to be positive to use me too. Let's take a look at my example, my introductory example. John has been studying Italian since 2005. I would say me too, me too. Or I could say, so have I. Very good. Or you can say, like John, I too have been studying Italian. Okay, this is another um, usage or another example or another way to say the same thing. Or you can even use as well. John has been studying Italian since 2005 and you can say, I have, so auxiliary of the present perfect, because we're talking about the present perfect simple right there, uh, present perfect continuous, sorry, I, um, and then the auxiliaries have or has, I have as well, as well, instead of to, as well, which means to. Now, be careful, when the sentence is negative, like in this case, John has never been to Australia. Never is the negative part, right, of the sentence. John has never been to Australia. And then you would answer, me neither or me neither, or even say, neither or neither have I. And we use the same auxiliary, in this case, have. Neither have I. Or you can say, like John, I have never been to Australia either, either. Okay, like John, I have never been to Australia either. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and you understood it. And if you want to share the lesson, you may do so. You will do a great favor to me. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And uh, see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.